you've really gone over the edge, you've decided to go racing. At this point, you better have your wife's blessing because she's your, your number one sponsor. So make sure she knows you appreciate that. Because uh, as you start prepping the car and putting the cage, the full suspension, um, roof, possibly something like a Lexan windshield, um, you've pretty much done away with the audio system and the air conditioning and all the creature comforts. Um, so if she didn't like driving in the car or riding in the car before, she's probably not going to want to ride in it now. Hopefully she's enthusiastic and she's right there with you uh, driving and, and riding in the car with you. In Lotus Cup, we run on full slicks. But whether you're on full slicks or on uh, our triple eights, um, Nitrons or Olean shocks are a great upgrade. Probably the best bang for the buck as far as the change that you make for your car, a proper suspension to the car. Um, some of the things that we do on our cup cars is different bushings, different ratio steering rack, different steering arms in the front um, to, to allow us to get more camber and to offset um, uh, bump steer created by lowering the car. Um, a proper steering wheel that allow you better grip will uh, help getting feedback from the car. Uh, plus you can do the detachable steering wheel and it's a little easier to get in and out of the car when you've got a, uh, uh, a racing seat in the car. For the drivers, we have a, a, a aim dashes that allow us to monitor steering inputs, braking inputs, um, G loads. Um, they, they take that with video and use it to analyze how their driving is. Um, so you can learn a lot of uh, how, you're, how you're doing as a driver with, uh, with data and video. Something that can help keep costs down, spend some money to save some money, is uh, aftermarket body panels are relatively inexpensive compared to the factory panels, which sometimes go on back order. Um, you may want, to, as you're building a car, you may want to pull your perfectly good panels off and install some aftermarket panels and if something bad happens you always have your originals to put on or you can, these are thick enough you can actually repair them um, or the replacement costs are, are quite reasonable. Um, same time if you've got a cage in the car you can reduce some weight from the top um, with a uh, one piece hard top that uh, takes about 19 to 20 pounds out of the top. The factory roof and roll bar covers about 29 pounds. And this particular top is about 9 pounds. Uh, our newest top is about 4 pounds. So that's a lot of weight up top where you don't need it that you can eliminate. And if you're getting coaching, one thing you, you probably want to consider doing is putting in an in-car communication system. Uh, this car has both a chatterbox type system where the two, uh, the driver and the instructor can chat while driving, also a two-way radio so he can get uh, coaching uh, from the sidelines uh, during a race or just a qualifying session, um, let you know when there's yellow flags, green flags, things like that. Um, just kind of depends on how far you want to take it. As with your street car, as you go more and more to a full race car, um, you, you want to keep things reliable. Um, these are the same engine that's in a streetcar. Uh, we're not allowed to do pistons or other uh, heavily modified things. Um, we generally, uh, on our fleet of race cars, we'll pull the head, we'll replace the valves and springs and retainers, things that are legal to do. We do that for reliability. If you over rev one of these because you catch the wrong gear, um, all it takes is a little bit of piston to valve contact to weaken the valve and it may not break right away usually it's the next heat cycle as you're warming up it'll drop a valve and chew up the engine um, so we, we replace the valves for reliability um, the, we look at the same things we do on a street car how's the coolant bottle doing how are the hoses doing air filters between each race weekend we'll just go ahead and change the air filter um, they're cheap and the amount of power that you can lose because of dirty air filter is quite substantial. Some things like uh, they run coolant up to the throttle body to preheat it. You don't really need for the racetrack. Um, 
there's an extra air injection line that we shorten up and uh, cap it off so it's not in our way if we need to get to things later. On all of our race cars, we'll change out the radiator to an all aluminum radiator before we have problems. Um, we generally go with a little bit thicker radiator. We've also eliminated the air conditioning uh, condenser because that'll restrict the airflow. There's a, co a cooler thermostat and uh, there's also um, different pulleys for the alternator and the water pump that are available that'll slow them down. Uh, on the, around town you're running three to six to seven grand is your typical RPM. At the track you'll find that you're sitting at you know six to eight thousand a lot and that can uh, cause the water to cavitate uh, in the water pump when it's going that fast. So a pulley that that slows down the water pump is actually a good thing. In a race situation, a race prepped car, generally you've got a decat. Um, the heat from the catalytic converter can just create a lot of problems, including fires if something um, in the exhaust comes loose and you get that hot exhaust on the clams. This car's got a lightweight flywheel. Uh, you can actually see the cross drilling. A lot of the extra metal has been removed, so it's essentially a ring gear and a surface for the clutch. Um, the more mass that you remove from the flywheel, uh, the, the more free revving it's going to be. It's going to make a difference in the accelerating out of the corners in first, second, third. Um, hopefully you're not in first at the uh, track much, but autocrossing it makes a big difference in first gear. Um, in Lotus Cup, you're not allowed to run aluminum, and I think the aluminum ones are a little light, a um, little rougher idle, that kind of stuff. Um, we'd like the steel flywheels. If you do decide to go more towards the race, just be aware you're going to got to have that truck, that trailer, means to get the, the car home because um, eventually something's probably going to break. On our race cars, we've found that as the drivers are, are driving harder and faster, as the competition gets more competitive, uh, the main weaknesses that we see are the clutch. Um, the clutch cover. It's a stamped steel cover, shaped, drilled, so you can bolt it up to the flywheel. That stamped steel portion of the uh, clutch cover will actually fatigue and crack, and as it comes apart, it'll expand and rub on the bell housing, and it can actually punch through um, into the, the gear oil where the differential is, and you'll get a big gear oil leak as well. If something isn't sounding right or feeling right, or your temperature's high or something, don't push, I mean, there's no million dollar prize at the end of the year. It's all for fun. Uh, keep an eye on your equipment and take care of it. If there's something going wrong, find out what it is and park it for the day if, if, uh, if, if you do have something going bad. So as you're getting prepped for the track, th considering whether you're going to take your car or apparently there are places that rent race cars, so you may want to consider risking somebody else's car.